Um, you know what? Actually, let me go back out through this gate. I didn't realize there was a gate here that was open. This probably doesn't take me anywhere. Except down the hill. Although, there's a... Uh, before it detected me. We got him. Wow, that one was uh, up close and personal. Jeez, that's the closest I ever got without getting hit by one of those things. Kind of an interesting looking monster. If you can call it that, I guess. I think there's one right there. Got one up close and one from a great distance. But yeah, those things do quite a bit of damage if you don't get out of the way of their uh, attack. All of Europe uses Celsius. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. You know, it's really kind of a bit surprising because I've sometimes wondered why United, United States schools, we never had to learn the Celsius or metric system, or at least I never did. Kind of curious why they never kind of made, seems to me that you would make that a requirement just because so much, well, like you're saying, all of Europe uses Celsius. I mean, to me, it would just be kind of helpful to know both, you know? Instead of just knowing the one. Especially if you're going to be going into the sciences. I mean, uh... It just kind of makes sense that you would learn both. But they... Of course, I haven't been in public school for, what is it, 30 years now? So maybe it's changed, but when I was going to school, uh, learning the Celsius and metric systems was never a requirement. And so that just kind of seems odd to me, I guess. The acorns are for unlocking various uh, secret doorways in the area. There's not that many of them, not that many secret doors, but uh, you do need a certain number of acorns in order to unlock those doors. And so it's kind of important to collect those if you, uh, if you find them. Right now I've got 145, which may seem like a lot. It may seem like a lot of acorns, but it probably really isn't. Alright. So we 
killed off two more of those orange monster things. I guess I should make my way this direction. Yeah, they should have applied them in the education in the education system. Yeah, to me it's just uh, it's just kind of strange that we didn't learn that here in the United States schools. But then again, like I say, I haven't been in school for a little over 30 years, so maybe it's maybe it's changed over the years. I don't know. And to be quite honest, I mean, I guess it can't be that difficult to learn it. I mean, if I wanted to, I could easily just spend some time going online and memorizing it and learning it myself if I wanted to. I just have never taken the time to do it. But the thing of it is, you know, they teach, and certainly when I was going to high school, you know, they were certainly teaching the language courses. So it's like if they're going to teach the language course, Teaching the language courses wasn't, uh, that was always optional though, that was never required, but if they're going to do that, then, you know, why not go ahead and teach the Celsius Fahrenheit, or metric system. Alright, I know there was another second ghost over here somewhere, because I killed two of them. This, this is planet Earth. It's uh, actually 19... I think it's like 1940s planet Earth. And the way some of the dialogue has been presented in the game, it's probably sometime right before America dropped the, the uh, atomic bombs on Japan. So I guess it would be like 1940, or maybe even 1939, as far as the date in the game is concerned. So yeah, it's it's definitely uh, planet Earth. Or actually, you know what? I think I might have to take that back. Because basically, when you start in the game... Well, no, actually it would be Planet Earth. Basically, when you start the game, your character, you know, your main character, you wake up inside the cave on this place, and your character is wondering if it's Planet Earth or not. So I guess in a way it could possibly be an alternate reality that is uh, simulating Earth. Yeah, Imperial Japan. So yeah, probably 1940 or 1939, I'm guessing. But again, I'm just basing that off of the uh, dialogue of some of the... of uh, a couple of the different characters. Because one of the uh, scientists... One of the scientists working on the island, or at least the recording of the scientist, is talking about how he's kind of in a contest with the uh, Dr. Oppenheimer. And Dr. Dr. Oppenheimer, of course, was the famous guy who worked with developing the uh, atomic energy, the atomic bomb for the Manhattan Project. 
so, uh, so yeah, that's kind of the time frame in the, uh, story. So right now, currently, I'm just kind of in exploration mode. I'm trying to find all the, I'm trying to locate all of the, of the crates as possible so that I don't miss any of the medallions that I'll need whenever I find the pyramid. And then at the same time I'm also trying to collect as many acorns as possible so that I don't end up running short on acorns and therefore, you know, I'm not, and wouldn't be able to open up those secret doors if I find them. So far, this area is probably the largest, the largest exploration area that I've come across in the game so far. Other areas are not quite, quite as extensive as this one. So at some point, I'll need to get into the, the building itself. But right now, I'm just trying to make sure that I have as many acorns, as medallions as I can collect before I get into the building. Actually, there was... Where is it? Actually, there was this place down here. That seemed rather interesting. Okay, yeah, there's a... I just about forgot about this place. Medallion. Uh, let's see, can I get up there?
Oh, crud. I don't want to fall into the water. So yeah, with this suit you can almost go anywhere that the suit can take you to. You know, was that a, uh, kind of looked like a, a cave in there. There goes the acorn, but, oh, okay. I thought that was going down the side of the, uh, the side of the cliff there. I guess not. Can I grab this one there? No acorns here. bit surprised that I haven't really come across a I really haven't come to the uh, boundary of the game world yet okay so now I'm back in the airfield all right so let me see if I can now get into the facility itself Before I do that, I need to find some more blue energy. Some more blue orbs. was a sort of stairwell along the side of the uh, building that I am guessing will get me into, into the inside. Actually, you know what? Crud. Uh, crud. You know what? There was a... Before I do that, there was...
and there was this canyon here. Or is this just a dead end? Just a dead end. All right. There might be, however, a crate. Yep, there's one. It's got a medallion. Alright, well I'm glad I made the trip over. Okay, now we'll make make our way back and let me see if I can get into this uh, building. again. Oh, crud, come on. Maybe I need to jump a little bit sooner. Oh, you're kidding me, come on, man. Of course, then again, maybe this isn't the way to get into the building either. Nope. I think I jumped a little too soon there. Alright, let me look for... Let me look for another way in. I wonder if maybe... Oh, are you seriously kidding me? There we go. Alright. That's... I won't be able to jump high enough. Yeah, I won't be able to jump high enough to get... to get in on this side here. And all of this is blocked off. There's no way I can get in there. All 
All right. No. All right. Probably have to drop down through a uh, roof or ceiling or something, maybe. See if there's Let's see if there's some sort of a drop down point. Okay, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to make the jump across. I forgot about this area. Soma and Astra are held in a delicate balance. Astra takes, Soma gives. The two are interlocked with each other, kind of a yin-yang. In order to produce the bombs, we need an external source of energy to inject into the system to pass through the life seed acting as an amplifier and output it as weapon-grade fuel. So yeah, they're basically, the U.S. military came upon, or at least the researchers, the scientists found this energy source on this, this part of planet Earth or this alternate reality. And now the military is accessing it to use it to, uh, to put an end to the war. Which, in this case, I guess would be World War II. Okay, more exoskeleton, or uh, exosuits. I think I almost have enough medallions into that ancient pyramid near Astra. Word has it the Raptor Squad is picking up pace, so we need to work fast. No smoking. Okay, so that opened up that door. 